sure if I was gonna post this video because it's I mean the festival is pretty small so I didn't know if it was worth it or anyone cared but I'm getting ready for a hard summer so I figured I would just film while I get ready and I did get footage from Lost in Dreams so I might as well post it um, as the title indicates <laughs> this is about Lost in Dreams it's a two-day festival and it was at the LA State Historic Park I guess this was the first time it was in Southern California. I don't really know where it was previously, but uh, it's about 20,000 people were there. And let me give you some of the logistics. Boop, boop. Okay, so two day GA, $220. One day for Friday was 80. One day for Saturday was 115. For a two day VIP, it was 265. VIP Friday was 143. VIP Saturday was 173. The event was from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Anything in LA has a curfew, so they always end earlier. There was no parking provided, so it was kind of like find your own parking and then get to the fest. So I'm assuming a lot of people parked in Uber or just parked in the area and walked over, but LA parking is always kind of tricky. So you never really know where you're going to end up. So there were like a bunch of food trucks and there was like a little vendor village, merch of course, two stages, VIP at both of the stages. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I thought it was a cute little festival. There wasn't like a ton of photo ops or anything. Um, but there were a couple activations, like, I know Ghost and then Beatbox. They also did have lockers available to rent and they were charging lockers. So those were also available all weekend, but no general store, no charging stations. The first day there was only one water station by like the main stage. And then by day two, they ended up adding a second one by the other stage. And as far as bathrooms, everything was porta potties. Is it worth? how expensive it is mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, since I was working it like I didn't really get the full attendee experience so I really can't say it is kind of pricey but at this point a bunch of festivals are gonna be so expensive anyways so um yeah cute little fest I don't know if they've announced it coming back next year or not it just says to sign up for updates so I don't know if it will return. It seems like we had a really good turnout. I will put the lineup here and that's basically it. <laughs> this is why I wasn't going to upload this video, but I guess it'll just be a short one. And yeah, so I'm heading to hard summer today and that video will be up in the next couple weeks. And then next month I'm going to have a few travel vlogs from out of the country so that's really what I'm like focusing on right now is like getting ready for my trip so I'll have those out next month so a few videos in the pipeline um, but that is it for now thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye